I know what you're thinking. Electrolysis, that's so 1983. You have a point. Electrolysis did see its heyday back in the 80s when technology was on the upswing. And as a result, the hair removal technique became more convenient, more reliable, and certainly much easier to use. Here's the deal. During the procedure, a thin needle is inserted into the hair follicle, zapping the root with electricity, permanently damaging the surrounding cells. Just get ready to say out. It's up for debate, but the FDA claims electrolysis is the only permitted option out there. Most people think laser hair removal has the same guarantee, but according to the FDA, lasers can only permanently reduce the hair growth, not permanently remove it. Ready to embrace the electricity? Here's what to expect and some tips to help you prepare. The most important part is accepting that it will hurt. But as long as you're with a professional and in the right mindset, you'll be able to handle it. Need some help? Pop an over-the-counter ibuprofen pill at least 30 minutes beforehand to help dull the pain and reduce the inevitable swelling. Need something stronger? You can request the esthetician performing the electrolysis apply a topical anesthetic. Also, make sure you're drinking at least eight glasses of water a day. This is extremely important since the jolt of electricity will dry out your skin. And the drier your skin is, the more it will hurt and eventually crack. Now there are three different electrolysis methods used. The first one, galvanic electrolysis, produces lye when the shock is delivered to the follicle. And it's the lye that kills the hair at the root. The second method, thermolysis, uses high frequency radio waves that kill the hair follicles. And blend electrolysis simply blends the two methods together. Pregnant women should stick to thermolysis to be safe. As for aftercare, remember your skin has just been fried. So avoid alcohol-based soaps, lotions, and makeup for at least two to three days. You'll want to apply an antibacterial ointment the night after your treatment to help reduce the healing time and help relieve the pain at least a little. Looking for something more natural? Try witch hazel. Also, make sure you keep the sweating to a minimum. That means no exercise for at least two to three days. And don't be disappointed when some regrowth appears, it's expected. But at least the roots are weaker and will take better to the following sessions. Complete results can be seen in about two years. As always, Check with your doctor before undergoing any hair removal procedure. And to learn more about hair removal tips and techniques, check out other videos in this series.